This video was recorded as a help for one of my viewers who needs a bot that will monitor the mute status of one or more of his Discord server members, and corresponding to the mute status he wants to change the state of the LED. Ok, here I have the basic code which represents the template for making the Discord bots. If you don't know how to make a new project for bot, there is a video on my channel and the link is in the description. First what I will do is to write the guild voice states intent so that the gateway will send me the voice states events. Now I can subscribe to the voice states update event. Inside of the event handler code block I'm gonna to cast the data pointer to the voice state model and log some properties. I will log the user ID of the members whose status has changed. Beside user ID I will also log the channel ID, mute status and dev status. Ok, let's build and flash the app to see what we have so far. Ok, bot is connected to the server. I'm gonna to join to the voice channel. In the terminal we can see that the event is logged with all corresponding data. Here is my user ID and here is my mute status which says that I'm self-muted. If I unmute myself, the new event will be logged with all the same data except the self-muted flag which is set to zero now. I will copy my user ID from the log output because I want now to monitor my mute status. For the clean code I will create a voice user ID constant here and assign my user ID that I have copied from the terminal. Now I'm going back to the event handler and here I will check if the event user ID is equal to my user ID. If that is the case, I will check whether I got muted or unmuted status. You can notice here that I'm checking both flags, mute and self-mute. That is the case because a member can mute himself or can be muted by server moderator. This is also the places where we want to change the LED state. But before that, the LED GPIO needs to be initialized. For the LED GPIO, I will create a constant as well and assign the GPIO number 2. That is the pin on which I have connected the blue LED on my Node MCU ESP32 board. In the main function I can now reset the GPIO pin, set direction to the output and set the low level so the LED will be in off state at the startup. All what I need to do now is to set the LED state corresponding to the my Discord mute status. And that's it, now I will flash the application and test if it is working. As soon as I join the voice channel, the LED goes on because I'm muted. If I unmute myself, the LED will go off. And that is how you can monitor your mute status with the ESP32 Discord bot. As always, thank you for watching and till the next one, see ya!